Well, the Sandy Cape uh, area was a uh, was an old Scottish Act settlement going back in uh, here until about 2002, when the uh, the Shire uh, enacted the state Scottish Act policy and removed the existing uh, Scottish Acts uh, from Sandy Cape. And since then, there's been an ongoing program of development at Sandy Cape, which has in part been funded by the money put aside from the lease payments, which had been collected from the from the squatters uh, in the final years that they'd been there. The aim of it is to uh, to actually make it more accessible to the public and to enhance the uh, the environment there. Uh, there's been a, a lot of involvement from the local community, from various government agencies, from West Midlands, from NAC, uh, and so on. So it's been a it's been a whole of community project. It's been very successful, I think, over the last few years. So the reason why we started the project in Sandy Cape is because we wanted to improve the safety of the area. Sandy Cape is a rocky headland with uh, limestone um, rocks and we have a lot of kids there, a lot of people and um, also we wanted to make sure that people uh, wouldn't walk anywhere on, on everywhere on the, on the headland and um, damage the vegetation so we wanted to also provide a, a common pathway uh, on, on the dunes as well as uh, provide some beautiful viewing uh, points to enjoy uh, both the north and the south views of Sandy Cape. A lot of people in town, and especially those that are on the, the Progress Association, and, and most of them, myself included, are starting to, starting to get on a bit in years, they had some association with Sandy Cape. Um, you know, a lot of them on the, on the Progress Association are originally from farming communities, and they, they had some association there. So uh, a lot of them have probably spent their you know, weekends and holidays up there. So, I think they all realised that it was now going to be under some pressure because it was turned into a, uh, a, a holiday uh, campground, camping area. So uh, there was obviously going to be a lot of pressure on that site and uh, we could all see that <laughs> there's a possibility of the whole, especially the, the actual Sandy Cape itself rather than, the, rather than the old shack site, but the Sandy Cape rapidly degrading and uh, and uh, sort of going downhill fast so that was why we as a group uh, decided to become involved and we were also trying at the time to to get a coast care group going in Durian Bay uh, up until then there hadn't been a coast care group and, and, and one of the reasons why we, we tackled this one it was it would have been a bit of a feather in our cap to, to get this project up and running and and uh, and give us, as a coast care group, or a potential coast care group, a bit more of a higher profile. So NAC was engaged in the project from the beginning, so um, in the planning stage we talked to the consultant, to the landscape architect, we talked to the community, we brought all these groups together and we made sure that everyone was consulted and we uh, developed a master plan. And then NEC was also involved in the construction phase, um, helping the local government, um, choosing the best um, contractor and also um, help with the, with the, with the works. Um, and also, especially, I think NEC was involved uh, in the planting. So we um, chose the seedlings and then we, um, together with the West Midland Group, organised the day um, for the planting. West Midlands Group have been involved at Sandy Cape for quite a number of years. We helped the Progress Association with their first Enviro Fund grant. And when the boardwalk has, was built, we um, realised that some of the vegetation had had to be removed to make way for the boardwalk. So the West Midlands Group applied for some funding and to buy some plants, some coastal species to plant near the boardwalk. We organised with the Durian Bay Coast Care Group to get a group of volunteers and the Durian Bay District High School to have some students from there. And we came out in 2009 and planted about two or three thousand species, which it's great to see most of them are still growing. Uh, 
Uh, I am a member of the West Midlands group, actually, so uh, uh, that's been a very successful group, I think, in, in trying to engage with the local community and to get them involved uh, in understanding the environment, first of all, and also in the best way to treat the environment going forward. And we've had a lot of support on the coast uh, from the West Midlands group uh, through their local offices, especially Penny Keenan. Uh, but there's also been a, an involvement with the agricultural community within the Shire. And it has, I think, broadened everyone's uh, understanding of the importance of the environment. The Coast Care Group has sort of blossomed really. Uh, we had a, a clean up oh, a couple of weeks back, you know, 30 people turned up for the clean up, which was great. Have a barbecue afterwards, good fun. I liked the fact that we were able to build something um, quite big, it's actually quite a long boardwalk, but has such a um, small visual uh, impact and a small impact on the, on, the, on the dunes. And because it's elevated, the vegetation can grow underneath and I think that's, that's really important. If we want to put anything on the coastline, we have to make sure that we build it so that the vegetation can still grow and we don't have an impact on both the vegetation and the fauna of the dunes. Residents of the community are interested in doing a similar project. I encourage them to talk to their local government, to NAC, to other, um, other groups. And because if we work together, we probably come up with the best solution. Uh, dunes are very fragile, so we don't want to just fence it off all the time or um, stop people from working on the dunes and enjoy the beach, but we want to try to find the best solution so maybe we can as we did for Sandy Cape, come up with something like something elevated or something different um, so we can reduce the impact of pedestrian on the dunes but we can also allow people to still access these areas and enjoy the beach. That's what we like. <laughs>